Hello everyone, welcome to this another video and today we are going to look at the new UI system that Unity introduced after Unity version 4.5 uh, if I'm correct. So today we are going to look at uh, how to make a simple score uh, in our game. I add score in our game and if you have not watched the Unity video tutorials before this uh, series, in this series, I recommend you to watch this because this is going to be a continuation on those videos. And today we'll also be looking at making uh, main menus and making buttons and uh, yes, today will be all about a um, UI in our game. So let's move on to add a score in this game because we have no score now. So just right click here and you can just select UI and this is going to be a score. So it, it's just a text and in the text, when you click text, you can see there that in hierarchy panel we have three new items that has been added by unity so that is canvas and event system and a text so text is what we originally wanted and canvas and event systems are the new things that unity added for us so if you just zoom out in this uh, scene uh, scene here you can see that our game is very very small here our game is very small in this section and this this new window has popped up this new uh, thing has popped up and what this is is the canvas so canvas uh, in unity 4.5 uh, and after that uh, what unity made was unity made ui and the game independent of each other so the ui screen ui is just an overlay of the game screen above the gameplay so ui behaves as it is not connected to gameplay and it's just it's just an overlay over the gameplay overlay um, and it's um, overlay over the gameplay and um, yeah I, th I think you got it the gameplay is is limited to this camera window but uh, this is what is the canvas and every UI element that you want to put in are inside the canvas for example this button so this button is no uh, this text is nowhere to be seen and when you just zoom out you see that it is outside the canvas and hence you cannot see it in in this uh, game window here but if i change this position to zero okay uh, zero and zero you can see that the text is center in the canvas and similarly this is center uh, our uh, text is also visible in the game screen so when I click text, you can see that and this, this thing is normal you, in 2D. We have already seen this uh, border, but what is different is this butterfly like icon. So I, I like to call this butterfly and I really find this thing fun to use. And what this is, is I'll explain to you in a little bit, but let's me, let me so let me just drag this text over here and let's say this is a score. So at this score and let's increase the font size maybe 16 and okay center alignment in the center and the color let's change it to white and yeah i think this will do okay let's say this uh, this did it and if i hit play what you see here is the score is not in the correct position score should have been aligned in this position around this position but what this does what this is doing is score is transported to another position so in unity in unity's new ui system what unity introduced was called anchors so what are anchors anchors are this butterfly like icon so what this dot does is it lets you a user position these things and these things make the ui seem as it is independent of the uh, screen size for example, if my screen is, um, if my game is viewed on a mobile screen, mobile device or tablet or uh, and a PC, it might look different if you do not use this anchor properly because these anchors guide where these buttons should really be, where these UIs should really be. So if I just move it right here and I can, what I can do here is I can just move these, these anchors independent of, independently. So I can move this, I can move this, okay, I can move this, I can move this, I can just I'll move them wherever I want. And this will guide where the score text will be. And I just 
want uh, I really I, I have this behavior of mine where I just position the anchor in the top four corner in the four corners of this text uh, or any UI system that I any UI element that I use because it's it just guarantees me that it looks same on every screen that I view on so this is a good practice I think and um, I recommend that you also okay I do not want to repeat that I recommend that you also use these things because they are really easy to use and they are really helpful too. And what you can also do is in the anchors in the inspector, as you see, you have this anchors uh, property here. So you can adjust the values of anchor with these values too. But uh, I really don't find, um, really don't use them much because I really like uh, doing here, but doing doing in this scene window. But if you are really uh, if you really care about this precision and um, the position of these angles, I recommend you to use Inspector. So if I now play this, this score will be exactly where I placed it. And this is the power of the new Unity UI system and I really love it. And so since this is a score, I, I just rename it to score and move. Okay, okay. This is a score, and what I want to do is add component and find a score. S C O R E score. Okay, the score script is now attached. So you can find these scripts in the description uh, below. Mm, I think um, I'll play. Uh, okay, I'll place a link to this description for score, and you can just open this. So my Visual Studio is here, and in this score script, what you can see is. I have a new variable called sort script. So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to reference another object with sort script. Another object, and I am trying to access the sort script component of that game object or of, of that prefab or of that um, object, anything. Okay. When I when I'm why I'm going to get this is because in the sort script, if you Remember in the sort script, what you can see here is you can see that my okay, let me disable flux annoying right now. Okay. What I have done here is I have yeah, I have defined the score variable here, and this is public score. And what I can do is I can reference this score through the player preferences. I have this score is being assigned from here. This score is being set from player preferences, and um, I'm assigning the value of player preference score in this place there. And what I really realized is I do not need this score dot PR variable. And okay, that is not really needed. I thought I was going to reference that, but that was not really needed. I just Put it out and okay. What I'm doing really in this score script, I'm just assigning the player preferences. So what you just real, what I just realized I did it is um, I was trying to reference this sort script via uh, the variable, but I realized that I have used player preferences, so I do not really new, need to uh, access another class and then um, you know communicate between those classes through public variables, and I think it saves me a lot of. Um, Security if you if you look at that and um, I do not want to reference those variables and what I am doing here is I'm just Getting the value of score from the player preferences and th this might be a good practice if you look at it and I have done what I've done here is I have in this text component of this game object I have set the score as the player preferences score simple. So what you can see here is is asking still asking no 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 Okay. The script reloaded and yeah, there is no no need of that score um, uh, of that prefab containing the sort script that is the bullet. And when I just hit play, what you can see here is my score is set to zero because in the player preferences section it is currently zero. And when I shoot my enemies, the score is increasing. So I have four score. I have uh, sort four enemy fish till now and 10 
ओके आई आई आर टेन ओके एंड दिस इज वॉट वी गेट एज द स्कोर एंड इफ यू रिमेंबर वी हैव ऑल्सो पुट हाई स्कोर इन द स्कोर स्क्रिप्ट सीरीज स्क्रिप्ट सो यू कैन ऑल्सो रिफरेंस दिस हाई स्कोर टू सो प्लेयर्स वॉट द हाई स्कोर इज बट वील वील डू दैट इन दनदर वीडियो सो वट वी हैव नाउ टिल नाउ इज अ सिंपल गेम विद स्कोर एंड अ सिंपल प्लेयर एंड इनिमी कैरेक्टर्स वट आई रिक्वेस्ट डू यू डू वट आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू यू ऑल टू डू इन अनदर वीडियो इज अनदर ट्यूटोरियल इज यू कैन ऑल क्रिएट अ न्यू सीन दैट इज रियली सिंपल इन द एसेट्स फोल्डर रिमेंबर इन द एसेट्स फोल्डर वट यू कैन डू इज राइट क्लिक एंड क्रिएट अ न्यू सीन एंड यू कैन ऑलवेज मेक अ फोल्डर एंड अरेंज दिस सीन्स If you like, but uh, since here are not many points, since I just put them here, and you can call this main menu. You will. So this main menu, and you can develop your own uh, good-looking uh, main menu here. You can add text, you can add buttons, you can practice with the new UI system. Uh, it's really not really new, but uh, it's pretty new compared to the what uh, what old Unity used. Um, that was not event-based and things like that. so you can use here you can uh, play around with this thing and you can always add buttons and things like that and i will see you in the next video thank you guys for watching this video goodbye for now